Yes, go through the lines. Scribble, scribble, scribble. In middle school, art class is offered as an elective. So you might think this is a good class to sign up for if you don't want to take too many chances or if you want to get away from all that thinking. Uh, today we're making wire sculptures that challenge cognitive boundaries. Okay, hold on. What's a cognitive boundary? <laughs> a cognitive boundary is um, something in your mind that keeps you from doing something or that separates something, like a fear or like um, something. That, can I start that part totally. again? Totally. Uh, it's it's like it's um some it's in your mind and it blocks. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, can I think about it for a second? Think about it. So you do have to think in art class. This is 3D Art Exploration, a new elective offered to FCPS middle school students. According to teacher Callie Couch, here you'll find high-level thinking, students taking chances, and even some life lessons being learned. This class is really great for their self-esteem because middle school is a time when confidence can waver and drawing ability is definitely one of those things where they start to say, oh, these are the kids in my class that are good at drawing and I'm not one of those kids. But in this room, there is no really right or wrong answer and especially with sculpture where realism isn't necessarily the goal, then it, it allows them to not have that self-doubt and to be gain more confidence in their creative thought process and their creative solutions. When you're doing 3D art, you can get across like a message that you're trying to get across with shape and like dimension that you couldn't just on paper or that you'd have to have a high skill level to get on paper. Learning from your mistakes is something that can translate to any area in your life and it's one of the things I really stress in here is that we try things, we're experimenting, we're exploring and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, we move on, we've learned something though, so we take notes in our sketchbook, you know, this didn't work, this is what I'm going to try. And so we keep growing from that point. And we also share those too. Like, uh, we spend time sharing our mistakes with other people so that we can learn from other people's mistakes as well. Today, these creative thinkers are working with wire. Using this medium, young minds are required to focus and plan. Working with wire is different than painting or drawing because it gives you a little more freedom, but it also takes more concentration and it, it gives it more dimension and it's better way to express what you're trying to get across. So for all you rising 7th and 8th graders out there, consider taking 3D art exploration. You might express some emotion in an appropriate manner, challenge a norm, gain some self-confidence, you might even enjoy thinking. I, I think one of the biggest things is that it's okay to have different answers and it's a okay to think differently than other people and to solve a challenge in a different manner. You know, it's not always the case at school. You go to math and it's wrong or it's right. A lot of the day it's wrong or it's right. So they come here and it's a chance for them to really feel like that anything is okay and my answer is just as valid as somebody else's answer. Yeah, I really liked it. It's my favorite elective that I've taken so far.